Hey Pathios, it's Thorn. Um, I haven't posted a video before. Actually, little known fact, uh, Jason actually brought me on to Pathios originally thinking that I would maybe do a lot of videos because that's where he found me on YouTube. And I have been disappointing him every week since then by typing instead of speaking at you. But here I am in a video just for you guys. Um, I'm, I was moved to do this because I've been getting a lot of responses to the last couple of blog posts that I made. Um, the most recent one about um, how all witches are basically solitary in the end, and then the one before that about Wiccan deal breakers. Um, I'm really grateful to everybody who, re who read these, or who reads my blog in general, and I hope you all understand that I'm not asking for everybody to agree with me. Um, I think it's awesome when we can have disagreements and talk about it and hash things out and come up with new ideas. If I just wanted people to agree with me, life would be pretty boring. Um, I wouldn't get anything out of it. You wouldn't get anything out of it. Um, a big part of the reason why I started blogging at all was to have conversations that I wasn't necessarily having um, in my immediate life. Um, I wanted to bring that out into the internet, and I've mostly been really happy with that. And it's pretty rare that I get anything that's just like really inflammatory. Uh, but I definitely got got a little bit of uh, a little bit of heat for the last couple, and um, that's fine. But there's one thing in particular that I wanted to address because either I'm doing something poorly, or you guys don't just don't know what's out there. So here is a video um, to correct that. Um, the points, the point that's been raised a couple of times, um, and not always very nicely, <laughs> um, is that I do a lot of criticizing and I don't do a lot of, um, I guess, I don't provide a lot of guidance necessarily. I just criticize and build fences and draw lines. Um, I, I don't know, I don't think that's very fair. Just considering that I've been on the internet for many, many years, um, and I've written about a lot of different things, almost entirely from a positive standpoint. I really work hard to be positive. Um, and I wanted to draw your attention and provide some links to some of the things that I hope have made the kinds of contributions that people are asking me for. So, um, I would like to first draw your attention to this blog where I provide input about choosing better books um, regardless of what kind of level you're at and what tradition you necessarily practice. Um, here's another one about how to start a training group and some pitfalls to look out for. Um, here's one about practicing when you feel too busy to be practicing. Uh, here's another one about how to find a coven. Here's one about how to get into the academic study of paganism if you're a student interested in exploring paganism from a formal standpoint. Um, and then finally, here's another one about why failure is important in a practice of witchcraft. Um, and those are, just, those are just some initial things that I want to throw out to you. Um, I understand not everybody likes everything that everybody writes, and that's totally fine. It's more than acceptable for people to hate something that I write. That's totally cool. Um, but I, what I try to do on Oathbound, um, one of the reasons why I don't write a whole lot of like intro posts or um, how-to things, um, like Common Tansy just, just now came out with a really awesome blog about how to get into Wicca, which is really cool. Um, a big part of the reason why I don't write a lot of stuff like that is because um, I feel like there isn't enough out there that's generated towards, um, first of all, BTW practitioners, and then practitioners who've been doing this for a while, maybe in different kinds of capacities. Um, there are a lot of really amazing resources for beginners, and often those things are more visible than the also awesome resources that exist for more experienced practitioners. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. When I don't write an introductory blog or when it feels like I'm just drawing lines, it's because there's already so much good stuff out there for beginners. Um, and I'm really interested in having conversations that are more specific to a particular kind of Wicca 
And I understand the fact that that kind of Wicca, like, it's, it's exclusive, it's exclusionary, okay? Like, there are boundaries, there are lines, and I realize that that's uncomfortable for a lot of people. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to talk about it, right? Like, we can have disagreements, and that's cool, um, but I, I want you guys to understand that I'm trying to, I'm trying to be inclusive and I'm trying to talk to a wider audience, but I'm coming from a very specific perspective. Um, if you're looking for an affirmation that anybody can be Wiccan and that it's perfect and easy, like, I'm not your girl. And that's okay, right? Like, there are a lot of other people who you can turn to, okay? And I'm not saying that those positions aren't equally valid in other circumstances, okay? It's just not my position. That's all. Um, and that's one of the things that's so awesome about Pathios is that we're all really different. Um, and the conversation is you know, it's really dynamic and it's ongoing and you get all different kinds of perspectives and hopefully they're, they're respectful most of the time. Like, that's what I'm going for. Um, so if you felt alienated by the last two, like, I'm sorry, like, it's not my intention to, like, hurt people's feelings, but at the same time, I feel like there are perspectives, there are things that we don't say because we're afraid of alienating people and... Sometimes I think it's better to just say the thing instead of have it come out down the line. Um, I mean, that last blog that I wrote, I was really thinking a lot about, um, you know, what happens when what happens when a coven dissolves? What happens when what happens when your high priest and high priestess move? Or what happens when your working partner leaves? Or what happens when you move away for a job, right, and you don't have your group anymore? Like what? That, that's, the, that's the impetus be behind having this insistence that people have a solitary practice, right? Is because in my mind, those changes that lead to being alone are, are inevitable, okay? I thought it was pretty obvious that I was talking about people and not spirits and gods. Like, I was specifically talking about group practice versus being alone. Um, so, anyway, I guess people missed that, but what have you. Um, and then the one before that about deal breakers... That article felt very necessary, and I, um, I tried to be clear that these, like, these are my deal breakers. Other people are going to have, other coven leaders are going to have different, um, different, different ideas about what what they can manage and what they can't. But I wrote that because there comes a point when you're working with a seeker or initiate where um, something gets in the way, like you keep hitting a wall, and it becomes clear that I'm just not the person to help that person. They don't belong in my coven. They belong elsewhere. And I think that it's easier to just tell the person up front as soon as you know, right? Like breaking up with somebody. You don't want to wait until the wedding to tell somebody that you have a bad feeling. Like, you want to do that right away. <laughs> um, so I wasn't trying to just be a jerk, right? I was trying to be frank, and I understand that that's unpleasant, but... Anyway, um... So there you guys have it. Um, also, here, if you're new to my YouTube channel, here's my YouTube channel. There are more than four years worth of videos for your perusal on all manner of subjects. Some of them, you know, warm and cushy and others involving drinking and yelling. You know, you can take your pick. Um, actually, a big part of my craft life is here on the internet. Um, the other element, too, that I don't, I, I try to bring into Oathbound, I don't necessarily do a good job of it, is, is my personal life, right? Like what I do, just because I think we have this idea about internet witches where like we're all just witchy all the time and everything is about the coven and everything is me reading witch books and doing magic and that's just not it, right? Like I spent most of today um, paying bills and lining up a job for the summer because I won't be teaching and like mundane kind of boring stuff like that but I think those things are just as important um, I think it creates a more realistic um, I just my brain just stopped right because it's been a long day at work where I'm not doing which things <laughs> um, it creates a more realistic perspective you know of the people who you enjoy following online um, we're all just people right and I try to I try to make that apparent. So anyway, I hope you all are having a lovely Monday, and um, I will be writing a blog later this week. Um, and that's all. Okay.